Which rectangle has the biggest area? A farmer has 100 metres of fencing to create an enclosure for his horses. He wants the largest possible area and is going to create a rectangular enclosure. What length sides should the enclosure have? So he could build an enclosure with sides of 30 metres by 20 metres. He could go for a longer, thinner enclosure of 40 metres by 10 metres. But he wants to find the one with the largest possible area. So let's look at some examples. If he created an enclosure of 30 metres by 20 metres, the area would be 20 times 30, which is 600 square metres. The longer, thinner enclosure would have an area of 10 times 40, which is 400 square metres. So, so far, the 20 by 30 rectangle has the largest area. What about if he created a square enclosure, 25 metres? Well, the area is 25 times 25, which would give us 625 square metres. So, so far, that is the largest area. Let's see if we can prove algebraically what the best solution would be. So, here's an enclosure of width x metres. If that right hand side is x metres, then so will the left hand side be, because it's a rectangle. So to work out the other side, we're going to take the 2x away from the 100 that we have. Dividing it by 2 will give us the longer edges, which are 50 minus x metres. So, any enclosure that's a rectangle can be written in this format, as long as the perimeter is 100 metres. So, the area of this will be 50 minus x times by x, giving us 50x minus x squared. So, we've got an algebraic expression for the area, 50x minus x squared. Now to work out the best solution, we're going to use a bit of differentiation. So if I differentiate our expression for the area, I get 50 minus 2x. Now, the best solution for this will be when dA by dx is equal to zero. So if we set 50 minus 2x equal to zero, that means 2x is equal to 50, x equals to 25. Now if you remember, 25 metres is what gives us a square, so the maximum area is given by a square with sides of 25 metres, giving an area of 625 square metres. Now is a square really the best solution? What about if we created a circular enclosure? So. Imagine the fence was bendy enough that we could put it round into a circle of circumference 100 metres. Well, the formula for the circumference is 2 pi r. So as the circumference is 100, 2 pi r must equal to 100. So the radius is equal to 50 over pi. The area is pi r squared. So putting our 50 over pi into that formula we get an area of 795.55 square metres. So if the farmer was to make his enclosure into a circle, he's got a significantly larger area even than the square. 